Hey everybody, Rob here at eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options on your 2018 GMC Acadia. So up top we're going to have our draw tight class 3 hitch and then right below that we're going to have our Kurt class 3 hitch. Now right away looking at them you can see that the design of them is going to be a lot different. And that's because each one of these is going to be better at doing different things so really picking one is going to be determined on what you want to do with your hitch. Personally, I'm not going to be towing a whole lot. I'm going to be using it more for bike racks, cargo carriers, and more recreational purposes. So I personally would go with the draw tight for a few different reasons. But let's take a closer look at both of our hitches and see the strengths and weaknesses of both. Now the major difference in design of our hitches and the way they look really is going to be because they're going to mount up differently and in the end they're going to be sitting in a different spot on our vehicle. Our Kurt here is going to be a little bit easier to install, less involved, but it is going to sit below the bumper, but again it is going to be much easier to install, not that much to do, and it's not going to require any kind of drilling, but there is going to be some trimming of the heat shields that we have to do. Now with our draw tight, it is going to be a little bit more involved to get it installed, because we're actually going to have to remove the rear fascia, and it's going to get sandwiched in between our bumper beam and the car itself. Now in the end though, it is going to give us a much nicer look because it's actually going to be completely hidden behind that little knockout panel and we're not going to see it unless we're using it. So here we got our curtain installed. You can see how it's going to look once you have it fully done. And again, that cross tube is below the bumper, but it does sit back quite a bit so it's not a really big eyesore. The main thing you are going to see is that receiver tube towards the back of the car here. But with our draw tight, this panel right here actually comes down and the hitch is actually going to be hidden behind here so when we're not towing you're not going to see anything. So aside from the aesthetics look, our draw tight is going to give us an advantage since it is going to be behind the bumper. Since it's behind the bumper, it's going to give, a, give us better ground clearance over the curt and really if we were to measure from the ground there's about a two inch difference in ground clearance so if you're not that concerned it's not a huge deal but it will make it a little bit easier to get those bike racks cargo carriers and other recreational things in there without having fear of bottoming out now on the other side of that our kurt is going to have a higher weight capacity so it is going to be better for towing now our kurt's going to have a 750 pound tongue weight that's going to be the maximum downward force to the end of the receiver tube along with a 5,000 pound gross trailer rating that's how much the hitch can pull but that does include the trailer and everything we have loaded on it the draw tight is going to have a 675 pound tongue weight so just a little bit less than the kurt but it's also going to have a 4,500 pound gross trailer rating again just slightly less than the kurt now both of these are going to be rated for weight distribution systems and that's going to be a separate component that's on your trailer. The draw tight ratings are going to stay exactly the same at that 60, 675 and 4500 but our Kurt, the tongue weight will stay the same but our gross trailer weight rating actually is going to bump up to 6,000 pounds. Now all those numbers in mind you do want to double check your Acadia's owner's manual because these are our hitches rating and we don't want to exceed the manufacturer's rating for our car. Now obviously if you're towing a trailer you do have to hook up your safety chains and both of our hitches are going to have a plate style safety chain connection point welded on the bottom of the receiver tube and the side of the cross tube here. Now the draw tight are going to have quite large openings so if you do have those really large safety chain hooks we'll still have plenty of room to get those hooked on and take them off but at the same time if you have some smaller ones we'll be able to get those on there no problem. And the slight offset from the hitch pin makes it a little bit easier not to worry about that interference between the pin and clip and getting your hooks hooked on. The Kurt safety chain connection points are going to be the same style but they are slightly smaller. Now you may be thinking I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a hook on there but even with these really big ones still got plenty of room to hook them on or take them off and again even the smaller ones work really well. And those safety chain connection points are just slightly behind that hitch pin. So again, not too much worrying about interfering with that clip, getting caught on the safety chains. Now another nice thing that draw tight has done is they actually added this bracket just to the left or towards the driver's side of the receiver tube. And that's going to be really nice if we do have any kind of trailer wiring that we want to add because it will prevent us from having to put another bracket on. We just mount it right to this bracket. Now don't get me wrong, you can completely mount any kind of electrical bracket to the Kurt hitch. It's just you will need to pick up a no drill bracket so it can mount up to the hitch. 
But as you can see, it can still be done. It's just a little bit easier on that draw tight since they provide you with a bracket on there. Now, since both of our hitches are those class three hitches, both of them are gonna use a standard five ace pin and clip. We'll be able to put our accessories in and mount everything up. Now you may notice on the draw tight that it's actually gonna have a secondary hole towards the opening on the receiver tube. Now that's gonna be exclusively for the J-pin stabilization device. Now the way this is gonna work is we'll have a threaded section that'll go in through the hitch pin hole. And then there's a curved hook type section that'll go into that secondary hole. And whenever we put the hex nut onto the end, it's gonna draw that hook into the receiver tube and apply pressure to our accessory. That'll keep it from moving around and cut down on that annoying rattling sound. Now our J-pin is also a locking device. So it's gonna make sure all of our accessories are nice and secure and it'll prevent would-be thieves from tampering with them. Now this is gonna be sold separately, but you can find it here at eTroller.com. So to sum everything up, Whenever you're choosing a hitch between our draw tight and our curt, it really is gonna depend on what's most important to you and how you're gonna be using your hitch. If appearance is the most important thing, you really don't wanna change your Acadia and you like the way it looks, I would definitely suggest going with the draw tight because it's gonna be hidden behind the bumper for the most part until we get to using it. Now, if the weight capacity is really your most important thing, because you have a lot of heavy stuff you want to move, you have a heavy trailer, I would definitely go with the Kurt because it does have that increased weight capacity as well as the ability to use weight distribution systems. Now, if install is your main concern, you really don't want to spend a lot of time, I, again, would go with the Kurt because it is going to be slightly easier to install. We're not going to have to pull the fascia off like we are with the draw tight. But I do feel like in the end, Putting that little bit of extra time into the install with the draw tight will give you that really nice look in the end. But with all that being said, again, I'm Rob here at eTrailer.com. I hope this information has helped you whenever you're looking at hitches for your GMC Acadia.